so it's four o'clock and it's time to get up. You already got your coffee? Not a good night. No. You didn't hear anything you did? No. We spent like five hours following her, trotting around, calling for her cab. Um, we never arrived, then she slept for three hours, and then she had an altercation with a lion. So we haven't been able to find her since, but no, she's okay. I mean, are you seriously concerned that there was actually contact? Yeah, there was contact. There was contact. Must be the way most leopards meet their end, actually. Something like that. They just let their guard down. And... So, yeah, we might have a problem with you. Do you think our leopard is still alive? Yeah, the leopard is still alive. I think he just ran away. But okay. I think he's injured. Really? Yeah. That's what I would be suspecting. about our leopard before, we aren't anymore. So our leopard is just in front of us, about 20 meters in front of us, and we've been trying to see whether she looks fat, and she seems to be quite thin, so hopefully she's gonna go hunting this morning. She's a very daytime hunting cat. So with a bit of luck, we'll get some action this morning. She's been crashed out like this for about half an hour. So, just a matter of waiting. Thank you, Thomas. Welcome. Breakfast in one shot. for about three hours. And since we first picked her up at 5.30, she's moved about 100 meters and done very little than sleep. So it's been a quiet morning on the leopard team. This is Darren. You're enjoying yourself? Um, not today, no. Why not? Because lots of power issues. <laughs> ah. So, about two hours of uh, trying to get that sorted out. What do you think of your thatched hut? Um, a could do with some windows, but apart from that, it's, it, it's very cool in here, considering how hot it is outside. Yeah, it's only because you've got an obscenely large fan. Yeah, well, that helps. Yeah. I've got to have some luxuries. People always want to know how you shower and uh, go to the loo when you're camping in remote parts. Well, here's our shower. Um, it's basically a barrel of water with a shower tap attached. And you just pull this back and it turns it on. So, yeah, so that's our shower. There are our loos, and the thing about these loos is that they're very close to our dining tent, so close that they are rather public. Um, and when we first arrived, they didn't even have these rush matting sides to them, so you could pretty much look inside them from the dining tent. Not what you want from a loo. Proper sit-down loos, how about that? Not bad. Tell me about the theory of the gaffer tape and phone. Hugh phone. Cordy's theory of gaffer tape and phones. The theory, according to Hugh, is that if you put your phone in a roll of gaffer tape, you boost the signal somehow through the gaffer tape stickiness, 
and get an amazing signal where you would otherwise have none. It works, doesn't it? We've proved it. I've tried to take photos to prove it and I've only disproved it. It just holds the phone up well. Give it that much. So now it should burst into life with full bars, but it's not. But it has in the past. It's just it unlucky. Has. You're yeah. just videoing at the wrong time. Yeah. It works. We know it works. It's the stickiness that grabs hold of the signal. Stop. After crossing the river as you come in... We were joking yesterday that we hadn't had a flat tyre in three weeks. The night crew have about two a night. We hadn't had one. And I think there's been some sabotage because I'm looking at a flat tyre and it's the day after we were joking about it. It's just a bit too suspicious for my liking. And the other issue about um, getting a flat tyre on this vehicle is that we don't actually have room for a spare tyre. Now waiting for a spare tyre to arrive and this might be it. You can hear the distant rumble of a vehicle. The spare tyre's arriving. Where have you been, George? We've been waiting about 20 minutes. Have you done it before? I did not sabotage the tire. This is the watching crew. This is, this is where you say, I love hard work, I could watch it for hours. We're providing support from the sidelines. Good job. Get it landed. Right. Yeah, got it. Oh. The expert. Yeah. Don't get too close, Thomas. <laughs> Storm. We're out on the plane. And, uh, we're sheltering under a tarpaulin. Do the uh, side down. It's training to pull the tarpaulin off. completely out of view from us. So it's great for her, but rubbish for us. What's he looking for, do you think? Oh, I'd say must be some walkers. That's what I thought. When we leave. They've got really sharp teeth. I'm not sure that's wise. It's not going to bite me. Oh, here we go. Trip to A&E on its way. 